Hi, welcome to this brief demonstration of FCCS's dynamic ability to visually present financial data and to quickly create financial reports. My name is Winston, part of the finance team at Deloitte Limited, and my manager has just asked me to present our gross profit figures for the first quarter of 2016. FCCS is able to do this through the use of dashboards. When I log into FCCS, you can see that on the home screen, there's a button for dashboards. When I click into it, I can access the financial dashboard section. Within it, you should be able to see the repository of all the dashboards currently within the system. For example, this example gross profit dashboard, which I had created earlier. You can see that on the top left, there are the gross profit figures for January, February, and March. Below, the gross profit is broken down into sales minus cost of sales. And on the top right, sales and cost of sales are broken down further into their constituent parts. You can see through this dashboard that March has a greater gross profit figure than either January or February. And this is because of an increase in sales, which far outstrips the cost of sales for the same period. Here, sales increased by around 1 million, whereas cost of sales only increased by 500,000. These dashboards can be quickly edited by clicking onto the pencil button on the top right corner. For instance, if we wanted to change the cost of sales line graph into a bar chart, we would simply go into the cost of sales object and click on the X button on the top right corner. We would then go to the left, where we would select the graphs, and then click and drag a bar chart to where we want to place it in the dashboard, in this case, beside the sales graph. Once there, we would go into the settings, of the bar chart, where we can choose which data they should present. In this case, we would want to pick cost of sales. Also in the settings, you can change things like the title and the labels of the graph. You would then click Close, and once happy with your new dashboard, click on Save. FCCS is also able to present this financial information in the form of classic financial reports. In order to make these, you would go into the Navigator, where you can see FCCS has an incorporated reporting web-based studio underneath reporting. Any reports made with the reporting web studio is automatically saved into the repository, also accessible through the Navigator. Here in this reports repository, you can see an example gross profit report, which I had created earlier. You can right-click and open it as a PDF format. This report is made up of a table with sales, cost of sales, gross profit, and the member accounts for rows, and the January, February, and March period for columns. Doing so allows you to view the change in the value of these accounts with time. You can see that the information from this report is the same as the first dashboard shown. March has the greatest gross profit figure, driven by an increase in sales. If we go back into the repository, we can also access this example balance sheet report. From here, you can see that this report is made up of a table with accounts for rows and entity as columns. This allows us to report on the assets, liabilities, and equity of the different entities within our firm. These reports can be quickly formatted to include logos, headers, and disclaimers. Furthermore, these tables can be quickly changed to accommodate for which financial information you need to present. Crucially, these reports can also be automatically set up to be printed or emailed to the required recipients, further streamlining the reporting process. Furthermore, both reports and dashboards can be viewed on mobile devices, increasing the flexibility of usage. To conclude, FCCS provides you with the flexibility to choose how to present your financial information and provides you with the tools to be able to do so in a quick and efficient manner. Thank you for listening.